Hey Ross World, my money makes money. Credit class part three of seven. How much do you owe? Your debt to income ratio. Now, this makes up 30% of your credit score according to FICO, Fair Isaac Corporation. Now it makes up 30% of your credit score according to them, 30%. How much do you owe? And this has to really do with your debt to income ratio, credit utilization, all that is a big mix of how this 30% accumulates into your credit score. And what you need to understand is sometimes guys, you can bite off more than you can chew. And what I'm talking about? So here it is. You go buy a house, then you go buy a car, but you make 30 grand. Now, depending on how much that house costs, depending on how much that car costs. Now, if you do these things simultaneously, None of this really hits your credit, so you can actually fool the credit agencies, but you're not doing it to anyone but hurting yourself, right? Because they say, okay, 30,000, you can afford a house this amount. Now, a lot of this is dependent upon how much do you owe or your credit utilization or your debt to income ratio. But if you do things usually within a month's time frame, it takes time you hit your credit report, which in turn generates your credit score then you'll be getting over, but you're only hurting yourself because these mathematical equations and algorithms are there to help you to manage your credit effectively because you can really get yourself in trouble. How do you think 2008 recession happened? Because a lot of people are buying new cars and buying new housing, making 25, 35 grand, but the debt to income ratio is 100 grand. See. This is the thing, guys. You have to understand these things now. You're saying, okay, well, they have all these credit ranges from 300 to 850. That's the credit score range. Now, if you at 300 to 629, you have bad credit, okay? 300 to 629 is bad credit. 630 to 689, 630 to 689 is fair credit. 690 to 719, is good credit, okay? 690 to 719 is good credit, and then 720 to 850 is excellent credit. And that's why I always tell people, 720 is the golden ticket. Now granted, you have over that, then good. But if you have below that, that should be your goal. People have all these nutrition goals, workout goals, financial goals. Here's your credit goal. Try to get to a 720 credit score because this is going to put you in the prime list if you're below that then you're in the subprime especially if you're in the 630 range okay if you're in the 630 that is when your interest loans are skyrocketed okay then anything below that you better just pray because you may not even get a loan but if you're in that 630 range okay 630 to 690 range then your interest rates will be astronomical. It'd be 12% where the people with 720 or above are getting 1% or 2%. So it just depends on how much you're paying to generate that amount a month or over the course of a term. So listen, how much you owe means 30% of how they make up your credit score, according to FICO. This is what you need to do, guys. You really need to go to annualcreditreport.com and request that free credit report from all three agencies, TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax, and really scan through and see what you have on your credit report. Because if you're not familiar with the things on your credit report, dispute it. They may take it off. I dispute things all the time. Things just pop on or like popcorn, pop, 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 pop. It just pop up on it, pop, 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 pop. I'm just like, no, none of these are my accounts. So they delete them. Then. I say, well, prove it, because they have to prove to you that it's your account, okay? Under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, they have to prove to you. They have to show you something in writing from the financial institution that's saying that this is your account. If they can't produce any proof under the FCRA, they have to remove it. And listen, when these things go off your credit report, you will be amazed how your credit score will go all the way up. It rises up, right? And listen, just because you have a 720, you don't gotta stop there. You don't have to stop there. Make 800 your next goal. Make 850 your next goal. Now, granted, some people say that 850 is impossible. No, it isn't. Have I ever had an 850? Hell no. Uh-uh. But, <laughs> nah. 
I've been over 720 for a long time, I tell you that though. So I'm good with it, okay? My car loan 3%. Now people who owe 800, they probably get like one or 2%. I'm hating, I'm hating. But here's the thing guys, 30% of your credit score is made up on credit utilization, and all these mean the same thing in the sense of a word, how much you owe, and your debt to income ratio. Because if you're making $25,000, $35,000 a year, and you drop a $40,000 car, and live in a $200,000 house, and it's just you paying it, or it's just on your credit, yeah. <laughs> you may be in a little trouble because you're gonna have issues because you still have to live your life. So don't be quick to go out there and buy that new car. Don't be quick to go out there and buy that house. Get your credit in order, get your finance in order, and then take one thing at a time. Because in the end, you're not getting over. They are, this is Ross World. My money makes money. Credit class part three of seven. How much do you owe? I'm out.